One night, Decay was in so much pain, that she could not stand, Da Singa, I need you to drive, I'm in too much pain, I cannot shift gears and drive. Deke said. Da Singa was scared because his glasses were broken, and the way to the hospital was not only dark, but had many curves, and he knew he would drive fast. Baby, you know, I can't see at night, and the roads are dangerous, and there's no light going down Stone Road. Decay was now not only in pain, but enraged, but Da Singa refused to drive for their safety. Da Singa was logical, like most men are like most females she was emotional and while she felt he was a heartless son of a bitch and held it against him. After arriving at the hospital, they rushed Decay into surgery, she was experiencing an ectopic pregnancy, and she was clearly in danger at that moment. Da Singa stayed at the hospital as long as Decay was there. He slept in a chair next to her bed, catering to her every need, running back and forth from the hospital, and retrieving things she needed, from home. Decay was finally able to go home. He was cooking, cleaning, and helping her get around until she was better. Lying next to her one day, he wrote, It's you. To the keeper of my insanity. To the one who makes it possible, for me to be me. Years, tears, have gone by. Because love was promised to me many times before, but never kept. Thinking I knew love in the past, that eventually, bit me on the ass. Hated my women for years, thinking they couldn't be trusted, because of those tears. Those years. And writing about my pain, it seems as if one could go insane. However, you were gain. It's you that got me feeling such joy. It's you, that have me feeling like a boy with a brand new toy. Falling for a few, thinking they were the one, but they too were playing games. Just having fun. But now. Oh, but now. I'm walking outside with a smile on my face, it's you, it's you. And for you, it's the same way too. Must admit, I didn't think this day would come, a time of joy and laughter, and just having fun. We talk about problems, talk about the past, talk about everything, and still able to laugh. It's you, I want. It's you I need. I've locked up my heart, for many years, because of those, that tore it apart. But you found the key it's you. Why I'm no longer blue. The pain of losing not one, but two kids had Dasinga depressed for a while, but the latest loss hit both of them pretty hard, but a few months later, they returned to a place of peace, or so they thought. Decay started redecorating the apartment with white, everything white. Living room set, and even a toy poodle named Cookie. They even had a little white convertible Mazda Miata. Da Singa took an old antique coffee table, sanded it down, and painted it white as well. When you walked into the apartment, you thought you were in heaven. Decay had an eye for interior decorating and put her heart into it and Da Singa helped whenever he could, he just wanted her to be happy by any means necessary. Trying to deal with her happiness made him lose sight of the more profound pain he was going through. Depression kicked in, and the communication barrier became an issue for the two. Da Singa stopped cleaning and cooking and spent most of his time getting back into the music business, meeting local and national artists to sing his songs, but that didn't come quickly enough for him. Deke saw the frustration, and she introduced him to a group of women who needed songs. They recorded a few songs together, but even that strained the relationship. Decay was up one morning mad at him as the bills piled up, you don't clean up, and your ass sits around watching television, that couch you sitting on, that shit is mine. That food in the refrigerator is my food. She got up and started throwing eggs in the sink. These eggs, these are my fucking eggs. Da Singa got frustrated and moved out and got himself another bed and breakfast, but that same night, he had already missed Decay. He knew she was right but he didn't know what to do about it. That night he wrote, Have you seen my car? Someone stole my car. Have you seen it? It can't be far, it's about 5'5 five five in height, kinda petite in width, weights 125 pounds, maybe less, that's the description, I can give for now, because I haven't had any rest, oh yeah, manufactured in the West Indies, along the territory of St. Thomas, the only reason, I'm looking is cause I care. Can you help me find my car? I love my car, without it, I can't go very far. 
White interior, black exterior, it could not be far, my car. Please tell me if you've seen my car. The last time I saw it, I left the keys in the ignition. Cause I was on the phone, I simply forgot to lock it, until I realized it was gone. When I could not find the keys in my pocket. Someone slips in and now probably taken it for a ride. I miss washing my car with words of wisdom. Simple conversation of passion, it taught me how to love, share, and care. Now, my life without her is a nightmare. Running out of patience. Nervous as hell. Has he wrecked my car? Probably, repainted it, I don't know. Can't eat, can't sleep. Please lord, tell me. Have you seen my car?